Hello everybody, welcome to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH and today we will be discussing Lecture 5, International Accounting Standard 2, Inventories. Let's start. The objective of IAS 2 is to prescribe the accounting treatment for inventory. Sabi ko sa inyo, yung IAS 1 is the very general no about presenting all of your financial statements. Now, we have financial uh, accounting standards na magdi-discuss talaga in detail ng kada line item or transactions. And we start with IAS 2, Inventories. It provides guidance for determining the cost of inventories and subsequently recognizing an expense, including any write-down to net realizable value. It also provides guidance on the cost formulas that are used to assign cost to inventories like specific identification, first in, first out, weighted average, and po, no, yun yung uh, discussion natin in IAS 2. Inventories includes assets held for sale in the ordinary course of the business. In terms of manufacturing, natapos ng iproseso lahat from, from raw materials, tapos dadaan ng proseso in your manufacturing until matapos siya as finished products, that's what we call finished goods inventory. But, on a merchandising setup kasi, na buy and sell lang naman yun, binibilang lang naman natin yung mga inventory na ibebenta natin somehow. So, merchandise inventory rin po yun, no? Assets held for sale in the ordinary course of the business. Now, in case those inventories are still in the process of transformation, then it is a working process inventory. Those are in the production process na hindi pa tapos, Okay? And then, we also have inventories na talagang hindi pa naumpisahan in the production process, materials and supplies that are being consumed for your production process and manufacturing, and tawag po doon raw materials inventory. Now, IAS 2 excludes the following inventories in its scope. So, hindi po IAS 2 ang gagamitin nyo dito. Work in process under construction contracts. C, IAS 11 construction contracts, pero hindi na nga po yan dapat kasi meron na, ta- meron na po tayong Revenue from contracts with customers na IFRS 15, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? And then financial instruments under IAS 39 and biological assets related to agricultural activity and agri- agricultural produce na pag-uusapan po natin pag tayo po ay nasa IAS 41 na. So, ang inventories lang po natin dito is yung merchandise inventory or yung ating finished goods inventory or yung ating pong work and process inventory and yung ating pong raw materials inventory. While the following are within the scope of the standard, IAS 2 does not apply to the measurement of inventories held by producers of agricultural and forest products, agricultural produce after harvest, and minerals and mineral products to the extent that they are measured at net realizable value in accordance with well-established practices in those industries. When such inventories are measured at net realizable value, changes in that value are recognized in profit or loss. And then, hindi rin po nag apply ang IAS 2 sa commodity brokers and dealers who measures their inventories at fair value less cost to sell. When such inventories are measured at fair value less cost to sell, Cost to sell, changes in fair value, less cost to sell are also recognized in profit or loss. Now, the fundamental principle in IAS 2 says that when we present inventories on the face of the statement of the financial, uh, in the face of the financial statements rather, inventories are required to be stated at lower of cost and net realizable value or the lower of cost and NRV. Okay? Now, the cost of an inventory should include the following. The cost of purchase, including taxes, transport, and handling, net of trade discounts received. And then, any cost of conversion, including fixed and variable manufacturing overheads, parte rin po yan ng cost ng inventory. Magkano po ba talaga natin i-represent yung mga inventory na ito sa ating financial statements? And other costs incurred in bringing the inventories to their present location and condition, best example, freight in. Or transportation cost. Now, IAS 23 identifies some limited circumstances where borrowing costs can be included in the cost of inventories that meet the definition of a qualifying asset, but we will be discussing that when we are already there in IAS 23. Now, ano po ang hindi kasama sa amount na ilalagay natin as inventory? 
abnormal waste, storage costs, administrative overheads na hindi po related sa inventory production process, selling cost, foreign exchange differences arising directly on the recent acquisition of inventories invoiced in a foreign currency, and the interest costs when inventories are purchased with deferred settlement terms. Those are not part of the cost of an inventory that should be included when you present them, when you measure them in the statement of financial position. Now, the standard cost and retail methods may be used for the measurement of cost provided that the results approximate actual cost. So, yung mga ganyan pong standard cost and retail method, nasa higher accounting po ni-discuss yung computational part niya. For inventory items that are not inter interchangeable, pwede po tayong gumamit ng specific costing method attributed to the specific individual items of inventory. So, kapag ka daw po yung inventory nyo, hindi interchangeable at saka medyo specific, medyo unique, kung ano yung cost niya, ia-assign mo sa kanya specifically. And then, for items that are interchangeable or basically, pare-pareho yung itsura ng inventories, gumagawa ka ng figurine, pare-pareho lang yung itsura ng figurine, mga angel, ganun. So, ang sabi ng IAS2, you can use the first in, first out method or the weighted average method. Now, with the last in, first out method, it's allowed prior to 2003 revision of IAS2, now, it's no longer allowed to be used as a cost formula. And then, the same cost formula should be used for all inventories with similar characteristics as to their nature and use to the entity. And for groups of inventories that have different characteristics, different cost formulas may also be justified. Okay. Now, the computational part, how to do the FIFO, the weighted average, it will be discussed with you pagdating nyo po ng intermediate accounting. Now, ang sabi po sa atin is our inventory should be presented at lower of cost and net realizable value. NRV is the estimated selling price in the ordinary course of the business, less the estimated cost of completion and estimated cost necessary to make the sale. Any write down to NRV should be recognized as an expense in the period kung kailang ka nag write down. Any reversal should be recognized in the income statement in which there is a reversal. Now, the required disclosures for IAS2 includes ano pong accounting policy yung ginamit nyo for inventories, the carrying amount generally classified as merchandise, supplies, materials, working process, and finished goods. The classifications depend on what is appropriate for the entity. Carrying amount of inventories carry that fair value less cost to sell. Amount of any write-down of inventories recognized as an expense. Kasi di ba mag-lower of cost and NRV measurement ka. So yung any write-down, kailangan mo rin i-disclose. Any amount of reversal as well. And then, carrying amount of inventories pledge as security for liabilities. May utang ka, pinang pledge mo yung inventory as security, as a guarantee. And then, cost of inventories recognized as expense, which is yung tinatawag po nating kasi nabenta na siya. So, it is now represented as cost of goods sold. Okay. And then, IAS2 acknowledges that some enterprises classify income statement expenses by nature rather than by function. Yung nabanggit po natin in the previous videos na nature and ex of expense method and function of expense method. Accordingly, as an alternative to disclosing uh, cost of goods sold mismo by function, IAS2 allows the entity to disclose operating costs recognized by the nature. So, okay lang din po yung by nature naman ang presentation natin. Raw materials and consumables, uh, labor costs and other operating costs, and the amount of net change in inventories for the period under the nature of expense method of presentation, pwede rin po yun. Kasi yan din naman po is in accordance ng sinabi sa atin in IAS 1 presentation of financial statements that allows you to present expenses either by function or by nature. So dito rin po sa IAS 2, in honor po natin yan. Okay, so that is IAS 2. Let's have a short quiz Agad, <laughs> no, for that. So, number one, what are inventories that pertains to materials and supplies that are consumed in the production process of a manufacturing entity? Okay, so that is raw materials inventory. Madali yung number one kasi sinabi naman na supplies and materials na ginagamit natin in the production process. Number two, the measurement of inventory should include all of the following except Alin kaya dyan? A, B, C, or D? So, the correct answer is letter D. Diba? Sabi natin kanina, storage cost ay 
kasama po siya sa mga hindi kasama no na cost of inventories. Number three, under IAS 2, alin po ang hindi na allowed? Siyempre, letter B, the last in, first out method. And then number four, inventories are required to be stated at LCNRV or the lower of cost and net realizable value. That's statement one. And then statement two, NRV is the estimated selling price in the ordinary course of business. That's the estimated cost of completion and estimated cost necessary to make the sale. The correct answer is letter C. Both true naman po yan. Okay. Yun lang po. Ngayon, ito ay primer lang natin no, sa inventories because the totality of the discussion of inventories is actually in intermediate accounting. As in, nandyan lahat ng calculations, how to properly compute for the cost of the inventory, what is, how do you apply the specific identification method, the first in, first out method, the weighted average method, how do we properly compute the lower of cost and net realizable value and present it in the FS, and then the gross profit and retail inventory method as well. All of those, kung gusto nyo na pong i-advance yung sarili nyo, Punta lang po tayo sa Intermediate Accounting Playlist for discussion numbers 4, 5, 6, and 7. Lahat po yan discusses inventories parts 1 to 4. And the links are also provided to you in the description box. Okay, our next lesson is IAS 7, Statement of Cash Flows. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH and hit the notification bell button. Comment on your questions, suggestions, and reactions for this video. This has been Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. Thank you and have a great day.